Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have this letter from Dawn I want to share with you for more encouragement because don't we need it? It is still Sunday, November the 7th, and now it is 10.32 or so a.m. All right, so let me pull this forward. Got this in my email today. And it starts off with The Trumpet by Bill Burns. Rise up and encourage yourself. There's that word encourage. In the same way David encouraged himself when things were not going well for him. Pause. Do you get the feeling the Lord is trying to encourage us today? I mean, this is... Messages have been coming across the last couple days or so with this same topic. Okay, let me continue. Apparently, there's a lot of us in the same, feeling the same way. And the Lord knows it, and he understands. All right, he says here to Bill Burns, giving this message to him, Rise up and believe that I am for you, that I am with you, and that I will bring you through to a position of victory. I will bring you through to a position of victory rise up in this hour and allow your faith to soar allow yourself to again believe in my goodness and watch the blessings of my kingdom come to you in this season sounds good to me thank you jesus this is small straws and uh she didn't write out the whole title. It's Small Straws in a Soft Wind, I believe, by Marsha Burns. I speak to those who are feeling lost and rejected, perhaps even disenfranchised. You must let go of anger and bitterness with regard to perceived or actual rejection or dismissal. Is anybody in that boat? I kind of am. Be assured that your acceptance will only come spiritually as you seek to know me. I have not forsaken you nor marginalized you in any way. Know that my love for you is everlasting. Obviously, he's not talking about people who are marked. He's because they wouldn't be reading this anyway. You can try sharing this kind of thing with everybody you know. How many do you think would actually take the time to open the email and read it? Whether they respond or not. Everybody I ever sent emails to either just deleted them, never responded, or let me know later on that they just deleted them or uh, didn't agree, had some little quip to say about, about it. Like, almost along the lines of mocking and scoffing. Okay, so let me move on. The scripture put with this, all right, yeah, it ended with, know that my love for you is everlasting. Jesus loves his children. He, he is grieving right now. The loss of many of them. Romans 8, 38 through 39 says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of... Yeah, a little bit of the letters are cut off over there. The love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And of course, that is conditional. We will be cut off if we let ourselves get marked. All right, this is a word given to someone that goes by the name of his humble servant, 333. 
It's titled, The Holy Spirit Shared With Me a Word to Encourage All. It's dated November 7th. The Holy Spirit was sharing with me in my spirit the other day that there are different times in our lives. The book of Ecclesiastes speaks about how everything has a time and a season. Sometimes it is a rest season. And I know a lot of people go through that. I do. And we feel like we are in the valley. We feel, honestly, like, where's the Lord? Where's the Holy Spirit? But he's right there with us. So if you are going through this right now, the Lord is wanting me to encourage all those who feel despondent or sad or disconnected that he's right there with you and he loves you. We're all created by God. We're all created in God's image. And he really put on my heart. What a masterpiece you are to him. He even gave me a vision of himself looking at somebody like they were the greatest thing that he's ever created. So imagine God, the creator, feeling that way about each and every one of us. I know 100% this is from the Holy Spirit that many of you have these amazing ideas in your spirit, amazing concepts, amazing inventions, amazing books, amazing artwork that God has given you. It's like he's sharing with me that many of you have felt unworthy or discouraged. Like, why would God choose me to do such a thing? I have felt that way, brothers and sisters. I surely have. Why would he choose me to ever come on YouTube and talk to you? Anyway, he has. Let me get a sip of water. I feel <coughs> like I need it. All right. Let's see. Uh, why, why would God choose me to do such a thing? Or, that's too big for me. We all have bouts, bouts, like a bout of the flu, <laughs> you know, a season of the flu, a season of this, a season of that. We have bouts. And we all have times of not feeling worthy or not feeling good enough to do something. But God did not put that purpose inside of you to die inside of you. He wants me to encourage you that you are truly amazing, to keep going, to keep sharing your gift with the world. There are so many people out there that need to be encouraged right now. And he's telling me that you truly are a blessing and you truly can make a difference. Gosh, y'all, I feel like it's written just for me. Is anybody else feeling it? Just don't quit. Don't let that purpose and plan that God has for your life die because of lies that the enemy has told you or lies that people have told you. Yeah, a lot of people can't be happy for others. A lot of people want to drag people down when they are going up. A lot of people want to blow out somebody's candle to make their candle brighter. But the Lord is putting upon my spirit to encourage you to not listen to the haters. Do not listen to the haters. One thing I say is haters are going to hate. Romans 8.38 And Romans 8.38 says nothing can separate you from the love of Jesus Christ or Christ Jesus except 
you. You can choose to walk away. You can choose to jump out of his hands of protection. You can choose to come out from under the shadow of his wings. You can choose man's medicine over his ways of healing. Do you get my point? So I just want to encourage you today that whatever it is that is on your heart to not listen to others, to not take others' opinions to heart. A lot of times people can crush us with just the simplest statement or words to cut our spirit. But what we need to focus on is Jesus. We need to focus on what God says about us. And I just truly want to encourage you that you are a masterpiece. You are truly beautiful in his sight. And he wouldn't have given me that vision if he didn't want me to share it. I hope this really encourages you that you are truly loved and to never give up, to never lose hope, and to keep your eyes on him because he thinks you're a masterpiece and you have something inside of you that is so amazing that can touch this world and make this world a better place. We are all connected and we need to love and God, let's see, we are all connected and we need to love and God is love and we're created in his image and Jesus told us to love each other so that we need to do that. Jesus told us to love each other, so we need to do that. Yeah, that should have had a comma there. Okay, so I hope this encourages you to keep going, to glorify the kingdom of God. God bless you. I like that. That is just what I needed. I pray, I hope that it, it touched you as well. If you're needing it, you'll know it, and it will lift you up. I pray that it has. God bless each and every single one of you. I guess with that, I'll just say bye for now, everybody. Have a blessed Sunday, or whenever you happen to see this, have a great day in the Lord. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.